Woman, why did you break my heart by dumping me for a poster? Oh, hi there, everybody. It's your old pal, Jack Hurley. Just making another poster as usual. Anyway, this week on Four Poster Nets, we're talking to someone who not only makes posters, but has an entire shop full of them. An auspicious beginning, I do believe. Also, I will be making up various art terms and kind of blagging it throughout this instalment. So without further ado, let's hit the annoying theme tune. Hi then everybody. Hi, uh, welcome back to Four Poster Neds. I'm here today in Beamworks in Headingley with Poppy Jennings. Hello. Head beam worker. Yeah. <laughs> so, Poppy, mm -hmm. how are you poster adjacent? Why have you ended up in this predicament? So, <laughs> we are an art printer and an art shop. Um, so we print a lot of artwork up to A2 poster size, um, which I'm assuming is why I'm here. Um, and we, we do kind of print orders, but also we sell a lot of art by local artists. So there's some really amazing stuff in here, um, including Jack's. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's great shop. I mean, obviously, you can see quite a lot of stuff behind us here, and uh, I'm sure that'll be taking everyone on a little virtual tour mm -hmm. in a second. Have a little browse. It's a great deal for artists. Mm -hmm. I've never come across a deal as good mm -hmm. for artists. There's some really, really good people here. Mm -hmm. We're in Headingley in Leeds. We're next to the Sky Rack. I always think that if you don't live in Leeds, mm -hmm. like saying next to the Sky Rack sounds terrifying yeah. like, like this yeah. massive rack not really in the a, sky a location marker that people are aware of just the word the sky rack it's really yeah. war of the worldsy isn't yeah, it, it is. like this, yeah. this this enormous rack and then you go inside and it's all lord of the rings theme so. <laughs> do you know i've never been in have you not i've lived here for 20 it's years covered in lord of the rings art really there's like signs inside like they swear to hobbit on and stuff like that yeah, it's so random. It's so random, but it's all Lord of the Rings. Like the wallpaper is the map. No. It's, yeah, it is. It's brilliant. That's Middle mental. Earth, all over the wall. Yeah. What possessed them? I have no idea. I was really shocked the first time I went in because I was just like, "This is really strange." <laughs> and it's more like movie themed than yeah, yeah. book themed. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. That is very odd. It's interesting. But if you live nearby, you know exactly where it is. Yeah. Like, everybody knows Skyrack. Absolutely. Yeah. And we are next door to it right now. So if mm -hmm. you are in Headingley and you want to buy some ace prints, mm -hmm. do come on down. You are, in fact, doubly poster adjacent because you do make your own prints. I know that you've been cagey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about plugging your own prints, but they're really yes. good. Yep, yeah, I do. I do nature, really good. nature illustrations, but I also do oil paintings, which I'm trying to do more of. Now that I have my illustrations, mostly in the shop, I don't sell them anywhere else now because it's just so easy. Yeah, you've just got, you've got your, your own, own shop. shop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they sell here, like little nature posters um, and things like that. Um, and yeah, oil paintings. That makes you doubly adjacent. You're like mm -hmm. a poster multiplex. Yeah, my posters, other people's posters. Yeah, but it's nice though. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Every time I get an A2 order, I'm like, yes. Yeah. You get to see this massive poster come out. It's, yeah, it's going to look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, outstanding. It's a, it's a great project. So mm -hmm. if you are in the neighbourhood, do pop in, mm -hmm. do buy something. Preferably a mine, if yeah. you know. <laughs> Just saying. Get a rubbish seaside print. ribsy has got to eat. I've got yeah. to eat like other people. <laughs> or, or poppies, obviously. Yeah. yeah, if you fancy mushrooms or bees. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> but without further ado, let's crack on with the posters. Mm -hmm. So... What is your first choice? And is it a love? Is it a hate? What is it? What's going on here? It's a love. It's, it's a love. probably my favourite poster, actually. I've got oh, really? this one up in my bathroom at home, um, which sounds... But I've run out of space, and it, it just looks you, nice you in always, the bathroom. You, you take your chances in the bathroom. Yeah. You, get, you get a bit of a crinkle it, on it's there. It's like the centrepiece in the bathroom. A friend of mine has one of mine in his bathroom, and it's mm. crinkling, and every time I go in there, I'm a bit like... <laughs> Weirdly, Ooh. my... I don't know if it's the frame... But it's built so well, it's not affected it at all. Because I was worried because it's a screen printed poster. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, is it going to ruin the print? But it's actually, it's doing all right. Um, and it's 
the Black Honey UK Tar 2021 poster. So this was a limited edition poster run that they did. And as soon as they posted it, I was like, yeah, I'm getting one of those. I actually, I went to the show in Cardiff because it was sold out in Leeds already by the oh, wow. time that I went to get a ticket. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a screen printed poster and it's got a like a glass jar of honey because the band's called Black Honey. Um, and this really retro kind of checkered style background. Um, and it just looks really cool. I don't really fully understand everything in the image, but I like that though. Yeah, and this is something about gig mm-hmm. posters. Mike mentioned it in the last video. I think I've mentioned it on the Post Patrol ones as mm. well. But the fact that like you've got so much freedom in a gig yeah. poster as opposed to anything else. If you do a movie poster, it's got to have stuff about mm-hmm. the movie in it. If oh, you... an album as well. It's yeah, not yeah. as free. Like You can't do as much with them. The gig poster, you've mm-hmm. got carte blanche to go yeah. wherever you want. And in this case, we have a jar of black honey, which is confusingly red. It's orange. Orange. It's like bright. No, it's like a ready. Orange red. Like blood orange. Blood orange. That's the color. Yeah, it's blood like orange. really vibrant. But yeah, it's really cool. I don't know why it's. But that, red. That's... You, like this is the thing. I just don't know. But it's great. Looks cool. It does, and like, I I've said it before. I'm not a very sophisticated man when it comes to art. Like mm. I I don't tend to see very many hidden meanings yeah. in things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got the album, and I still don't see any hidden meanings except for the fact it's a jar of honey they're called black honey and it looks cool that's kind of all i get from it It, i think it's really well done there's a couple of things about this which i really like Mm. one of them is the textures so we've got a lot of hatching Mm. and we've got a lot of half tones now i'm a really big fan of half tones Mm -hmm. we're really big fan of hatching and i'm quite jealous because i always get hatching wrong i never get hatching right Mm -hmm. it always just looks a bit off it doesn't look right while here it's absolutely bang on it's really really good the sort of half tones around the lid as well yeah that's that's a really nice effect i, I th- do have a set of pens on procreate that does it for me do you <laughs> i feel like that's cheating a little oh, no, bit no, no, but no. it just looks so much nicer i've got <laughs> folders and folders yeah. full of textures that i use on photoshop and like discovering textures was mm. a really big thing to me yeah. um, and it's one of the things that I see with other people who do sort of retro travel posters mm-hmm. like I do the ones that look off are the ones where people haven't used any sort of texture yeah. because they look really really flat mm-hmm. and they look really new and they, yeah. they pop a bit too much mm-hmm. And you need to dull them up. You need to scuzz them up a bit. Yeah, it doesn't look right if it's not a little bit scruffy. Exactly. You you need that scruffiness in there to kind of make it all work. Also as well, I think there's a lot of people who just do stuff in Illustrator. And Illustrator isn't really cut out for texture. So they don't Mm. touch that. And it makes everything look very samey. Well, the texture gives it all a little bit of depth. Yeah, definitely. No, it's a really cool poster. I also just, I really like the dog. Have you noticed the dog? Little dog. There's like a little dog on it. And I don't really, I, do they, maybe one of them has a dog. Maybe. I just, I don't know. But it Who looks, knows? Yeah. We believe this is by Chris is in crisis. Mm-hmm. I've had a quick look online. I can't find him. But when I go home, I will hunt try. I will hunt him down. See if we can find or him. Her, more. It that, could be. Yes. Yeah. Chris in crisis. Yeah. It could be. It could be indeed. Who knows? Who knows? The other thing I really like about this is like they've made this for screen print and I'm always mm. really jealous of the screen print people because they, they, they always feel like they're in some sort of mysterious yeah, world. I've tried it. Have you? I'm so bad at it. It was, it, I don't know how they do it. I yeah. feel like it's a skill that you have to really not get frustrated about while you're learning. Yeah. But I was really bad at it. Like I was, you know, when you put the ink on and you, and it just, I, I ruin it every time. I don't know what I'm doing. So they make about. it look really easy. They make it look really satisfying. Like when yeah. they get the, 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 the squidgy it's ink even in worse, there. Like, cause <laughs> when you do a class and the tutor shows you how to do it and they do it perfectly and then you do exactly what they do and it's ruined. It's just, just gone And they just stand there like, well, you know, just keep trying. And it's like, what am I doing wrong? I don't understand. But yeah, there's, it's impressive. I think from a design point of view as well, like the people who do the screen print stuff and they're like, right, I'm going to be using three colours in this. Yeah. Like, to me, that is a level of 
a forethought yeah. that is beyond me. Because I know when I make something, like when I make a poster, mm. I have a very, very, very rough idea. Yeah. Very rough idea. Wing and, it as you go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you're kind of going along as you go. And then yeah. you're like, okay, so I'll put that colour there. And oh, that's not quite right. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. Right, I'll mess with that a little bit. While well, these guys are just like sort of, we have three colours. We know exactly what we're doing. They're, they're all going what down colors there. colours going where. I have this picture in my mind yeah. and it's going to come out exactly like that. I mean, it might not have come out exactly as they yeah. intended. But you'd but never know. I, I That's don't the know. Thing. You'd never know. I it don't looks know. Like premeditated, done perfect. Yeah, like exactly how it's supposed to look. Yes. Yeah. I'm... And this is like obviously like the online kind of one that they used. But when mine arrived, it looked exactly like this. Like yeah. even you know like those little marks around the outside, like where the printing is, looked exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of a. Um, it's not, it's not a starburst, is it? It's more of an explosion yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a very uniform yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Big fan. It's like, like a kind of rosette. Like, yeah. Like, slap yeah. that on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it does remind me of, like, older gig posters. I feel like now gig posters are more, like, photographic and, like, digital. Yeah. And sometimes it's just the artist with, like, the dates on the bottom. And you're a bit like, oh, okay, they're doing a concert or so, but something like this that's actually like an illustrated image it's yeah. nice yeah. like it's back to how it used to be with gig posters we're going to be getting um drew millward on at some point and he's like really big in gig posters mm. he does really really great illustrations mm. and he's part of that whole scene and i'm not gonna lie yeah i'm insanely jealous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just really really Such jealous a nice job yeah like, yeah oh, it'd be so good like the, the freedom and the latitude Mm. that you have with this um particularly if you're working for like a nice client yeah um yeah i can imagine it's great yeah. I, I think i'd find actually that level of freedom quite terrifying do you know what? It's, it is i've done a few event posters in the past just like when i started doing graphic design and doing a bit i did a bit of freelance work with left bank and um, which are a venue in leeds as well not far from here and then um, they kind of let me do a few of their event posters, just kind of like see. And it was fun. It was actually quite fun. Like, especially when, when people give you their idea, but they have no idea. Like, they can picture it in their head. Yeah. But they can't get it there themselves. So you have to kind of put down on paper what they want their poster to look like. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. But it's fun, though, because even if yours comes out different to what they feel like it should be, if they like it, it's, it's golden. The ones that I've learned to fear mm. the most are the ones who go, just, you know, it's a blank piece of paper. Just use your creativity. <laughs> Come up with whatever you want. And then they hate everything. Every single do. time. Like, every single <laughs> time. You're like, here we are. I've used my creativity. Here is a it's here so is a little funny. snapshot of the yeah. inside of my mind. They're like, the inside of your mind yeah, is, is this quite... This is not what we asked for <laughs> at all. It's like, well... How about you do this instead? And it's like, well, you, you, you could have told me this in the first place. Yeah. And then they, like, draw you exactly what they want. Yeah, and yeah. you're like, why didn't you give Thanks. me this before? Yeah. This is handy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It's not easy working with clients. Sometimes. No. So if you're out there, yeah. you people. <laughs> it's you. We're on to you. We're, we're doing on our to best. You. <laughs> yeah. Another reason I like the fact that you've chosen this mm-hmm. as a favourite is because it's kind of autobiographical. Mm. It's an event. It's something in your life. And I think mm-hmm. that it's quite easy to get caught up in like, oh, is this design? Oh, is this yeah. worthy enough? When actually... Mm-hmm a good poster should mean something to you yeah. on a very personal level. Yeah. If it was a good gig that you remember that meant something, that mm-hmm. that's a really good reason. Yeah, it's nice because I, I went in Cardiff. I used to live in Cardiff. So this was kind of me going back. It was like a year after I'd moved away because um, I grew up in Leeds, moved to Cardiff for a few years. And it, it was nice to go back after lockdown yeah. and go back to, you know, like they've got some great music venues there there's actually a lot of them are being closed down so it's like a whole thing in Cardiff at the minute about saving the venues so it's nice to go and see this like one of my favorite bands performing in this venue and and but then you kind of have to come home again you're like this little pocket of like of an evening it was so nice I think it was like on a Monday or a Tuesday so not really anything else was still up and afterwards yeah so I think we ended up in Weatherspoons because it was the only place it was kind of like <laughs> open for a drink afterwards and then but it was nice because like yeah it was it's such a good experience to go and see one of your favorite bands and 
in a place that you love as well and to have like now that i've got the poster up it's yeah. always going to be a memory of like that that night it was good yeah so chris in a crisis yeah which we, we don't know who you are good work we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna find you we're gonna hunt you down yeah <laughs> but very good work mm-hmm. very good work yeah lovely poster mm-hmm. okay should we move on yes see next one because this is a biggie yeah this, this is, is a real be biggie that people are gonna really know this one yeah so describe oh, what's going how on to here. describe this yeah we're trying to describe it vaguely um a married couple the man is holding it's not a, is it a pitchfork that's a pitchfork is it a pitchfork a pitchfork although it's got three prongs like usually a pitchfork yeah, has two there's another name for it it's got like it's got a name and I can't remember what they're called it's not, is it it's got a good pair of dungarees on yes yes he has and a, a black overcoat he's wearing glasses and he looks either angry or content I can't really decide <laughs> I feel like people have a different idea of how he looks and a slightly disapproving wife stood just behind him looking at him like yeah. you know yeah. that kind of sad kind of marriage look I don't know when your spouse does something annoying <laughs> that's how I see it I just, you know when someone's looking at you like really well, yeah what, what what are you doing yeah what is this all about stood in front of their big American farmhouse their American farmhouse because yeah. this is American Gothic mm-hmm. by Grant Wood very no. very famous painting very very famous painting mm-hmm. and in fact this this isn't supposed to be his wife oh is it not it's supposed to be his grown up daughter really yes interesting and that's that's one of the things about this place. I mean what you're just hitting on is it's incredibly ambiguous yeah it is it's, I've heard speculation about the brooch on oh, the collar the, the little cameo thing yeah, she's got yeah the cameo like it's some kind of political statement but you know like all those kind of <laughs> It's really interesting, like looking at sort mm-hmm. of the backstories to this. From what I understand, he was passing this farmhouse in Iowa, and he was literally like, "Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'd like to paint that." Mm-hmm. And he roped in. I think this might have been his sister. I can't remember who this guy was. Mm. He got them to dress in clothes that were older than than, ni- they are, yeah. than 1930, mm-hmm. and he just painted it. And when it came out. There was sort of uproar in the Midwest that he was he was taking the piss. Yeah. <laughs> that he yeah. was somehow doing them down and whatnot. It really made a name for him. It the, did. In a way that he really didn't want. Well, the interesting thing mm. is, he, is he then leant, he lent into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, he went, because he'd been... I think it's brilliant. He'd been to Paris yeah. in his youth and studied art and everything. And then he yeah. comes back and then this gets big. Mm. And then he's suddenly like, uh, let's forget about the whole Paris thing actually because he wasn't doing anything like this no. for years and then he did and yeah it just really pushed him into yeah. this like weird limelight of anger and and regionalism suddenly he's like yeah. i'm very pro iowa yeah i am very pro iowa yeah. um so funny i love the i love american art history it's yeah. so interesting especially that era kind of around like the depression and you know the american dream kind of era like literature and art it's so interesting but like this it's the facial expressions it's so that's ambiguous. my favorite thing about it's this so painting. ambiguous he yeah can, is he happy is he sad is he about to yeah. take that pitchfork and ram it up his own <laughs> nose yeah you just can't tell is is he suffering from crippling depression or is he actually mm. just quite content with life mm. i think one of the things i love about it as well is just how it's like they took the free transform tool in photoshop and just went, yeah. like that and just, and just mm. stretch everything out like the, the size of her neck yeah <laughs> like she is giraffe like isn't yeah. she but it's like you don't kind of look at it and go that's not right you know no, I mean? no, 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 no. Yeah, but even though, like, you zone in on these little details and you're like, oh, that's a bit... Like, the fabric of her dress, it's so flat, but then the rest of it is quite... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's the way that it's painted. And that comes across in some of his other paintings as well. I was looking yeah. at a few of them earlier on mm-hmm. today, and they're all a bit sort of like, uh. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. But it's just like... It messes with your eyes a little bit yeah. when you look at it. And I like that about paintings. I like the play of like flat surfaces and like really textured like faces and buildings and 
because even the like the building doesn't look flat like with the shadow yeah yeah it really stands out but it's behind them but then they're kind of separate to the background yeah like the foreground and the background are totally two different planes yeah and but it doesn't look wrong yeah it's, it's a mean? really clever trick to yeah. pull that a really really clever yeah, trick yeah it's done it really well and it's so um it, it's like they've been cut out and stuck on top yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, like the 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 line between them and the background is so fine. And, and there's like... there's no there's no sort of focus relief, is there? Like there's no mm. blurring on the background no, at all. Yeah, so everything exactly. everything's like yeah. everything's really stark. Yeah. The lighting on them is the same as the lighting on the house. Yeah. Mm. I love all the different interpretations yeah. of the final list. Because like, there, there's some absolutely bonkers ones. That, 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 so he's, he's guarding the portal mm-hmm. to Hades. And, yeah. and, and she's some avenging angel. Mm-hmm. I like to think that he literally was just like, I really like that building. Yeah, just look. It's kind of cool, yeah. that. <laughs> Looks do, so do, you, cool. So, do you want Do you want to stand in front of there? Yeah. yeah. And we'll just, just stand there yeah. and I'll just like paint you. It's fine. Yeah. And then like, yeah, post facto, mm-hmm. just something very much leaning into the fact yeah. that, yeah, I am, I am regionalist yeah. painter now and you see the image everywhere like not even not like not mocking images but just like people redoing this image oh i've done it in different contexts yeah without even like explaining where it comes from because you know that when people look at it they're gonna see it there wasn't there a film with um matthew matthew gray goobler oh i don't know there was a film where this i think the poster for the film is similar to this or like there's one scene in it that they look like this yeah and they've like remade that kind of image and it's just little things like that it just pops up it, it's endlessly parodied yeah. and i parodied it I, I went through a period of just of, um, photoshopping richard madeley into everything <laughs> and i, I I'll, I'll dig it out so definitely I, imagine got, um, his face on this well, well judy works really well mm. judy works really well mm-hmm. on the um on the woman i'll dig that out but yeah everyone at some point it's like girl with a pearl earring yeah yeah exactly. you know yeah. mick hucknell works really well yeah with girl with those the pearl big earring. famous paintings but it's like they're famous for a reason, you know. They're not overdone. They're no. just classical paintings. Can Always you say classical. I don't know. Nineteen thirty. I think yeah, because I mean we're getting to nearly uh, nearly a hundred. Yeah. Old. So, so if it's not classical, it's within spitting mm. distance. Isn't also, because of the clothes, you look and you could think that the painting was older if you didn't know yeah. the date that it was done. So he's done quite well with that as well, I think. And I find the sort of reaction from the people that lived in Iowa really interesting because I've mm. experienced a bit of that myself you know when I started doing Rubber Seaside I <laughs> I lived I in imagine. fear of yeah. like you know I'm, I'm going to get a brick through my window yeah. and luckily enough for me like people kind of took it in mm. the spirit that it was intended and yeah. actually people are quite they're quite defensive towards them mm-hmm. no, like not not sort of defensive but like they're, they're quite protective of them like mm. you know th- this is all right, our our town is a bit of a shithole, but it's yeah. our shithole. I think it's the is it it's either Bridlington or Blackpool. Those are, you know, like I'll hear someone pick it up and go, "I'm from Blackpool. I, I don't really, I don't think it's like this at all." And you're like, "Really? <laughs> are you sure?" <laughs> no hate to Blackpool or Bridlington or Cleethorpes or any seaside town. But they're quite accurate. Yeah, parties. yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, you do get the odd person who kicks mm-hmm. up a fuss, but like, I would say like ninety-five percent of mm. people are on board yeah. with them. I feel like if you kick up a fuss about it, it's because you've not truly, fully accepted your hometown for what it is. Which Which one do you think people complain about the most? I th- it is. I think it's the Blackpool one. Because like, it's the one that people pick up and they're like, I don't know, like. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Like, come on, Blackpool. You are yeah, more self-aware than Come on that. now, yeah. People love the Whitby one. That's the one that people pick up and laugh at. And the Manchester one as well. The one the one that people complain to me most about is Hebden Bridge. Really? Yeah. <laughs> See, I quite like that one because I've, I've watched... Um... Happy Valley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's just <laughs> like, it's funny. Yeah. Like, it's, it is so on point in yeah. a very sad, realistic way. Yeah, yeah, you know that's that's the one that that people get get really vexed about. And I, and I had a very weird experience a few years ago where um, <laughs> the Guardian ran an article about them, and 
um, it went down really well. And everyone was mm. like, oh, yeah, I really like these. And then, like, the next day I got an email saying, yeah, listen, i just give you a heads up, but um, we're running a piece tomorrow where we've commissioned people to really take apart your posters. Oh, my God, <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> they, they found two, like, teachers from Blackpool who wrote, like, 2,000... Blackpool? Yes, it is, it's Blackpool. Yeah, they wrote 2,000 words about how I was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was kicking Blackpool while it's down and whatnot. And then... Um, like... First they, they, first they give us... Yeah. But it's silly, though, because... It's, you know, you know, I went, I lived in Wakefield yeah. for seven years. You know, I went to high school and I went to college there. It is shaky wakey. It is shaky wakey. It's got that reputation for a reason. And I, I think, I think wakey's quite special because wakey's quite comfortable with that. Yeah. Wakey's very comfortable in its, it's own skin. It's accepted. Yeah. And it's like, and listen, like most of the people that I know from there, are still, they've settled down there and they, you know, they've got nice houses and starting families and they've got good jobs there. And, but it is, we still call it shaky wakey. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're there after dark, it transforms. It does. It becomes something else. Have you done a Wakefield poster? It's I, not rubbish seaside, though, is it? No, I've, I've done I've done posters with the lads from Visit Wakefield, um, <laughs> and yeah, they, they've they've been really good fun to mm-hmm. work with. And going out mm-hmm. with Wakefield in Wakefield with them has yeah. always been like, woo, woo, lad. Yeah, it yeah. It's an experience. Yeah. Like I, I've got, um, I've said to a couple of friends that we're going to do like a little Wakefield talk because they've never been. Oh yeah. And I know all the spots. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was, I was a teenager there, so that's when you really find out all the best spots in in Wakefield. One of the things I like about Wakefield is they, the fact that they banned all off licenses in the yeah. city centre. <laughs> yeah. I remember coming out from a night out and I really wanted a can of beer and I found these Polish lads. And I was like, "Is there an off license?" Yeah. I was like, "No, they banned the off licenses. Come with us." And I walked about two miles to a yeah. Polish off license. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, but it's kind of funny though at the same time because like you can kind of because of how small the center is, you can understand why after a certain time they yeah. don't let you sell any yeah. alcohol because otherwise the bars would close. Like <laughs> they're there for a reason. Yeah, no, it is. It's an interesting place. I feel I feel I've I've hijacked American Gothic here. <laughs> Take this in. Let's talk about me. No. Let's but talk about Wakefield. It, it does link, link because no. it, there is that regional attitude, and it's smaller, I think, because obviously UK cities and towns and like little, like they're smaller. But I mean, the attitudes aren't really that different from like America to here. Like, yeah, that kind of. There are yeah. certain places I think in Britain, like I'm thinking of Manchester mm-hmm. in particular. That don't take it so well. Like Manchester loves to yeah. tell you that it's Manchester yeah. all the time. And don't get me wrong, I love a little day trip in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. But a day trip's enough, <laughs> you know, because it's so busy at all times of the day. You yeah, could be yeah. there on a Monday at three p.m. and it would be rammed. Yeah. And like, it's everything is kind of like a novel. Like you tell someone that you're going to Manchester for the day, because my cousin lives there. So yeah. I go over and I see her or I like, we'll just go for the day. And everything's kind of like, you sit in any cafe, it's, there's, everyone is taking a photo for Instagram. <laughs> or like you go to Aflex yeah. and it's hot and sweaty. And it, and it could be December and it's still hot and sweaty inside because of how many people are in there. And it's just, yeah, it's become a thing. You know, I, I I went to uni in Manchester. My sister did as well. So. Yeah, and the thing the thing I always found with it was that is that you can have the the best night of your life in Manchester yeah. <laughs> and the worst night of your life in Manchester, and that yeah. can happen in the space of five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and then rebound the other way yeah. as well. And and yeah. it, it, there's there's no real limit mm. on things in Manchester. Like if you're going out, you are going out yeah like, there's no yeah you're doing it if you're going to get mugged you 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 are going to get like yeah, they're going to take your kidney it. they're yeah. going to take your kidney they'll take everything <laughs> they'll take yeah. your soul yeah with you which is kind of why i like Leeds. it's, it's a lot more i it, think yeah Leeds. i like Leeds because it like colin and um i don't know like I can't remember any of the names of the roads now, but it's like there's five, four or five different sections of the city centre that are all completely different nights out. Yeah. Like Merion, call it, totally different nights yeah. out. If you go into Merion Street, why would you go to Call Lane? It's yeah. not the same kind of experience. And we all accept that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sports night, don't go to Merion Street. It's all, I mean, unless you go into a sports bar, because that's where they all are. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's two totally different nights out, but Manchester, 
is all the same just night out. Very intense. Yeah, it's a very lot. intense. You need to build night yourself out. up for that kind of experience. Yeah. Yeah, no, you absolutely do. Mm. Well, this this is this has gone <laughs> this has gone miles off American Gothic, yeah. Manchester Gothic. Yeah. That's where we are now. We love all the UK cities. We love them all. They're all great. Aren't they brilliant? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big up all the UK they're all cities. Different. Uh, yes, they've they're all, all got personality. You're all special. Yeah. <laughs> all of you. God, you are don't all we winners. love you? <laughs> There's no losers in UK cities. Absolutely not. Just as there's no losers in American Gothic, mm-hmm. a yeah. fine poster. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you bought this because mm. it's it's a it's a seminal piece of work. It's a very yeah very important cultural relic, shall yeah, we say? It is. It's true. Outstanding. Mm. I think this is a good time for us to take a small break to hear from our sponsor, which yet again is, is me, funnily enough, because <laughs> no one else is going to sponsor this. And as I say, Ribs has got to eat, so, you know, pay attention to the next 30 seconds and um, do what it says, which is buy some things off my website. Okay, we'll see you in just a minute. Have you ever fostered a decentralized battle against seaside towns, major northern conurbations, and achingly cool lesbian enclaves? Well, they look no further than the fine selection of embedded railway posters available at loudrooms.com. But wait, there's more! Anti court exchange propaganda, basic sand, Helen's Daniels, and whiskey mashups, plus loads of other gobblers. Get it on a bag, get it on a mug, get it on something I've probably forgotten to make a listing for, but if you email me, I'll totally be able to do it. My god, what are you still doing sitting here when you could be exacting revenge against this cruel, cruel world at loudrooms.com? I hope you paid uh, very attentive attention to that message and will do what it said, which is... Buy things. Buy things. <laughs> buy things. Please buy things. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're, we're now back with Poppy Jennings. Mm-hmm. I was saying earlier, I, I, I can't help calling you by your full, full name. name. Mm-hmm. It just rolls off the it's tongue very name. well. It's a good name. Poppy yeah. Jennings. Poppy Jennings. I get a lot of compliments for it that I pass on to my mum. So, yeah, she'll be happy. Pass on my compliments yeah. for my mum as well. <laughs> now, Poppy has bucked the trend in um, a very interesting way. Mm-hmm. Great way, actually. I'm, re- <laughs> I'm really pleased about this. By choosing two hates. Yeah. Yeah, you're not... You're, you're not Beating I've, around the bush I've here, are you? I've not held back for these ones. Excellent. Um, I'll, I'll preface it by saying I love movies. Okay. I'm, I'm a big movie person. And I, I'm i one of those people that if I'm painting something or I'm doing some artwork, probably have a movie on at the same time. Okay. To keep my attention. Um, but I hate movie posters. <laughs> So explain what's what's going on with this first poster. Okay, here. so the first one, very iconic film from a very iconic book. The film I would say got mixed reviews, kind of historically. We know that the author didn't like. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't like, like anything. anything. No, he no, doesn't. Does yeah, he? he hates yeah, everything, yeah. but he still gets in the money. So you know, he's <laughs> happy about a certain aspect of it. So this one, I'll, I'll describe it and then say what it is. Um, features. I can't even remember her name. Shelley Duvall. Yeah, I remember the actress's name, but I can't right there, remember look. the characters. Oh, What's yeah. her name? Oh, I don't the know. The wife. The wife. The wife. The, the wife. wife. <laughs> the wife. With a, a knife over her face and her husband's very angry, psychotic expression reflected in the knife. That's yes. a good way to describe that it. That's a very good way to describe and it. And Shelley Duvall's a very, obviously, memorable face so it's like featured i think her mouth is all it's an image isn't it that people recognize so they've got that bit in the poster but it's just such a bad poster like it is the worst have you seen a worse it's the shining stanley kubrick you know great film in my opinion i actually really like the film yeah i love it i i I, I love kubrick as well i read the book Um, before i saw the film though so for me i'm a i'm a book fan more than i'm a film fan do you know I've never read a Stephen King book? They're good, you know. I, I know, I like people. Yeah. People all the time like you should read one, and There's yeah, I should. There's questionable writing in it. I feel like everybody knows this now. He's not exactly well. He wasn't always. Is he? I don't know. Supporter of women. His female characters aren't written. Yeah. They, you know. It was I can't. Like, I'm a James yeah. Elroy fan, and he, yeah. it, like he, <laughs> he writes thing, horrible like, things. Some of my favorite male writers clearly don't like women oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah yeah you read you read a james yeah. elroy book and like they're, they're horrible yeah horrible yeah. things going on but, but i love them yeah my favorite book is actually misery 
um, oh, right, yeah. which is not like a big favorite of people's. Like people, I think people prefer the film to the book actually because of the way that it was written. But I quite liked it. It's about a kidnapped author that yeah. you know start like this crazy stalking fan. But yeah, The Shining. Anyway, uh, let's stick to the one that's actually on there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like I think there's better um, movie posters out there. But I see this one a lot, and I just hate it. Like I don't know, I, the knife, the reflection, the little shine on the on the edge of the it, knife. It's when you discover lens flare in Photoshop, isn't it? It's like, yeah. oh, lens flare, lens flare. Let's add it to everything. Dun, 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 dun. But then also, who is holding the knife? Is do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the perspective of yeah, the whole that's a really good thing. point. Yeah, because Jack, yeah. Jack Nicholson, you like, know, he can't. It's clearly a creative choice. Yeah, like the knife is just across it, but it just. It just doesn't look great. The thing that kind of baffles me with this is when you're dealing with like Kubrick films, but particularly The Shining, mm. like there is an embarrassment of riches, mm-hmm. of iconic pictures yeah. in there. You, you like you've got so much to choose yeah. from. You've got those twins in the corridor. Yeah. You've got you've got the, the bloody this corridor. Is, this is the thing. You've got the axe in the yeah. door scene, and he, like he really captures. Those, because those moments in the book s- seem so small when you read them. Yeah. But Kubrick, he put them in the film and made them iconic, separate images that yeah. made this whole production, and it was amazing. It was so well done. But this is what they choose for the post. I'm all for a movie poster that hints at something sinister that happens. Yeah. Horror movies probably one of my favorite genre yeah. i love the i like the tropes i not like overly done i'm not saying that i like scream five but you know the first one was actually it was it was a like for the time and for like the genre it was quite an interesting film but like why put this on the poster it was probably created after the film was already out and like hyped and maybe it was out for a while so yeah. people, everybody's seen it but I don't think people should fall asleep on movie posters I'm wondering if this was a bit of a cash grab poster yeah to be honest maybe I, like, like a, a, a 10 year release yeah, type thing yeah like yeah DVD reissue yeah. and like, one we these... need a new poster yeah we need a new image but I don't know I think if they were going to do like an image with the knife they could have had the doll. Oh, you know that poster where you just see his eye yeah. like, through the doll? It, 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 it's a great image. What is this? You don't... There are some things that you don't need to mess mm. with. And The Shining is clearly one of them. Or even just like Jack Nicholson like freezing to death. Like, you yeah, know, again, exactly. like, it, it's just yeah. such a great image. Is it that image? Is it his boots that are in the snow or something like that? Or his hands or something right at the end? Yeah. 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 You've got so much to choose from, and this is not. And you chose this. Yeah, it's not great. The, the, the one saving grace I will give it is I, I really like this typeface, but that is actually. Yeah, but that's the classic. Yeah, it's typeface, across all. Isn't it? It's yeah. across all the shining ones. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's good. It looks like yeah. it's quite a sort of. Dun, 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 I just hate that I see this like available to buy on poster sites. I'm just like. I know, and I, I, I went looking to see who did this mm. earlier today, and I couldn't find anything apart from <laughs> really hinky sort of Etsy shops that are full of like <laughs> copyrighted material and and yeah. stuff that's clearly been through Google Translate oh and God. not come out yeah. very well at the other yeah. end whatsoever. It's like Pulp Fiction posters, you see a lot of those as well, done really badly. Again, like you don't need to reimagine this. Like no. that, that that that's just um, put Uma Thurman there. Like that that scene. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. But is that yeah. is that scene even in the movie, the one that's on the poster? Because I'm not sure no, if it it's is. not. It was a production shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's not actually in the film. It's brilliant. Though. But that's why I quite like it though, because obviously like, like you know when you talk to people that haven't seen films like this, like just I don't know why, you know clearly didn't have a good upbringing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He was not letting their kids watch pulp fiction. <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, like when you talk about Pulp Fiction or like costumes on Halloween, you always see the Uma Thurman character yeah. and the, um, oh, what's his name? He's in everything. What's his name? The actor. John Travolta. Yeah, John Travolta. Yeah. Um, it's always them two together. Yeah. That image at the end of the night when she's like, you know, old us. And <laughs> 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 yeah, that's always the image that you see. But no, I don't like this one. 
It's fair enough. Mm -hmm. You make a good point. You make a good case. We can consign this to the bin of history. Okay, we we just had to come back because like there was a bit of a technical error, and the technical error was that I forgot to plug in the, <laughs> the laptop. <laughs> so so the light went out and it, it stopped recording. And um, yeah, so that was pretty slick, wasn't mm-hmm. it? High production values yeah. for post and I clearly high production value than anything I could do. I don't, <laughs> I don't even earn a microphone. I don't even earn a selfie stick. I don't own a selfie stick, no. but look, I've got tripods. But you've got, got two, a tripod? Two tripods. I got yeah. it from the tip shop. This is like the proper version of a selfie stick. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pro selfie stick. I never jumped on board with the selfie stick thing. No. Tripods, that's where you want to be. Yep. Anyway, unfortunately for Poppy, she now has to go back over, rake the coals of hate Ooh. for her next poster. Because you, 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 you've really built up a head of steam about this. Dear, yeah, I, I don't like it. This is my biggest hate of movie poster it's another movie poster and it features <laughs> um how many people one two three four five six seven eight nine superheroes in the nine film. superheroes and then you've got and then the villain in the background you've got quite a, who are all these dudes here? these are all iron men oh right so more iron men yeah because this is avengers age of ultron and i i don't know what it was about this one that I hated the most of all of them. Did you go through loads to, to pick this one out? No, I just, I knew when you asked me which ones I hated. Just deep burning. I knew it was going to be a superhero poster. And with that, it was going to be a Marvel one because I'm not like a huge DC yeah. person. You know, everybody's one or the other. Um, but yeah, I just, I think it's because as the Marvel movies have gone on in the universe, They've got bigger and bigger, but the pose stays exactly the same. So it's always the same people, always kind of the same um, poses. They're, they're doing, you know, Iron Man's always. Yeah. Thor's always. I, I'm and not then sure. Black if, Widow's doing her. I'm not thing. sure Scarlett Johansson can actually stand up anymore. No, yeah. I think <laughs> she's, she's permanently like, like that. Ugh. I think when we see her stood up, it's actually CGI. She's not actually doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, superhero posters, I, I just don't like them. I think they're lazy, and I think that we, you know, we respect the artist, we respect the process that goes into the design, but we don't like. The production companies want this to be the poster of every single movie that they have and it is every single movie that they have and i i agree with you here because not not only is this poster busy mm. it, 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 it it's like it's just shouting at you yeah. like it's it, it's proper sensory overload it's the whole movie in yeah a yeah the whole thing has been yeah. condensed into like a, a piece of a4 yeah. and that's 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 quite an intense experience yeah. that. and i think something for me as well i think what's happened i think when they first started doing the movie something that i quite liked about them obviously it was mostly origin stories yeah um but there was this there was still this kind of mystery to it but I think as they went on, they behaved as though everybody watching it had either read all the comics or had seen all the movies. So it was, it's like every single movie from 2008 was a sequel and that's it. There's, which I kind of, obviously they, did the, they do the whole universe Yeah, thing, yeah. But what it does is it makes it all kind of the same. Yes. And I remember whenever I'd watch one and I'd see another character pop up in another movie, I'd just be like, ugh. So it's yeah. just the Avengers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like they, there's yeah. no separation from the movies anymore. And I feel like they think they're doing something funny by like, oh look, it's Captain America in in Far Three. Like, ha ha, he's in it again. But it's just a bit. It's like they're making them for themselves. Yeah. And not for people that want to go and see movies and be surprised because it's it's like you you always know what's going to happen in them and there's no like and they put it all on the poster as if to say oh well you know what happens anyway you know what this is about it's a knowing wink yeah. to everyone isn't it I feel like these kind of posters are very much like those trailers where within 30 seconds they've told you everything that happens yeah, in the yeah, movie and yeah. then you don't need to go and see it because you're like oh well I know everything that happens now so we don't need to actually go and pay and see it that's what these posters are like and um, well, I agree with you. This is an absolute mess of a poster. Like, because it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like, it's just... It, yeah. it's, it's like someone's just vomited, like, a load of A-list actors on you. Yeah. Um, I, I will... 
play a little bit of devil's advocate here because I've, I've got a friend who used to make movie posters for a big studio um, next time he's in the country I'm going to get him on so I'm not going to talk too much about this because he's got loads of really really good stories about mm-hmm. this and I want to keep them kind of fresh but he he's told me some of the processes that you have to go through as a designer mm-hmm. for this and it, it's hellish because you'll be given a folder of assets mm-hmm. and that's what you've got to use you can't really go outside of that can't be creative you can't be too creative <sighs> and on top of that you are going to get just like the hugest list mm. of demands so x y and z have got to be in it like all these people have got to be in it but x cannot be more than 40 percent bigger than y and you cannot use his hands mm. you must find someone else's hands and photoshop them in and you can't put y next to z because mm. z hates y and this is what you end up with yeah it's funny as well because like you look at the purses and because of where everybody is you can tell who makes what amount of money yeah <laughs> do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah. like yeah. you know who's making the most money from these movies and then who's kind of just getting just a little bit less yeah I mean they're all still making millions aren't they but it's great for the fan art scene because it means that they they yeah, make they make yeah fan art posters I I see so many better I actually remember when I was a student I lived with one of my um, ex partners and we had um, I think it was like an Iron Man poster up but it was a fan poster so it, it was kind of this quite edgy minimalist design but it was of a really obscure scene in the movie yeah so it was like. It was not like this. It yeah. wasn't like the, the, the actual movie poster. It didn't have the suit in it. It didn't have anything like that. But it was... And that's those kind of posters I like because they just hint at what is going on. They don't... And it's one of those things as well where if you've seen the movie and then you see this poster image, you know that it's that movie. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, wow, that's actually quite a small thing, but it's become an iconic image. Like with The Shining. Yeah. You know? <laughs> not that one, yeah. but the other ones. Yeah. I mean, for me, like one of the things I really like about posters is that, generally speaking, they they have a job to do. Mm-hmm. I, I think, like one of the ones we were talking about earlier, gig posters. That's a bit different in that you yeah. have that latch. You know, I mean, they do have a yeah. jo- they do have a job. They have to be eye catching. Yeah. Um, something I've talked about in other videos is sort of tropes in posters, like mm. so, sort of like scar posters need a checkerboard on them, so you know that you're going to a scar gig and that yeah. sort of thing. Movie posters do have a job to do but I think one of the problems the industry has is it gives them so many jobs yeah, to do it's like yeah. you've got to do all the jobs no much. slacking yeah. you know no day off for you, yeah. you, you are, you're you cleaning the house and you're making the beds and you're doing the dishes mm-hmm. don't even think about going to sleep on me yeah. there's absolutely no leeway at all mm-hmm. for any sort of it what? is literally like the bigger the better yeah, yeah. Like this is a massive production so the person has to be a massive person but it's like like they in um, the cinema down in Kirk's I was there the other day because that's my like solo day thing I go to the cinema by myself and they still have the Ant-Man Quantumania poster up in the and it's absolutely massive and it looks exactly like this looks exactly the same just with different faces on it but it's massive and it's like they're saying this is massive so you have to you have to see it's massive like that's that's all that they think about and also making sure that everybody that's got a con- contract to be included in the marketing is on the Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a really interesting sort of period of history of comics where the Marvel universe as we see it now in cinematic mm. form came from. Because it was sort of around the late 90s, early 2000s when you first had... Mm-hmm. Um, on Wildstorm comics, you had the Authority, and that was like the first widescreen comic. Mm. That's, what, that's what they were called at the time: yeah. widescreen comics. When Marvel came out with Civil War, mm-hmm. and just everything went gigantic. Yeah. And the movies ran with that and never mm. put it down. Yeah. It's never like, ever put it down. You know, as a kid, like you go into the market, and there's always in every market in every city, there's a comic stall. Yeah. And they're dirt cheap they're so cheap and you can get like 10 for a quid or you could back then you can't anymore because they're like 30 odd quid for one comic book but it's like even the covers that they because obviously they uh, they're one story in one comic yeah unless it's a serial but like it's such an iconic on iconic image and i think as well like with the you know they check because they changed the marvel trailer it used to be like that comic page yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, trailer yeah, yeah, yeah. with the characters and now it's yeah. this big movie cinema 
thing and it's just like respect your roots like do they even make comic books anymore do you know what i mean like yeah. are they even still making the little i don't know it's just not the same and i think that's why i don't like the poster because it, it it shows the change in like I guess Marvel as a company as being more of a production company yeah than of the comic book kind of yeah now scene. it's it's owned by Disney as well yeah. like that, that's that's not going to slow down nope anytime soon same thing happened with Star Wars yeah mm-hmm. so you do realise that there's probably going to be two Disney operatives like waiting outside we'll get outside there'll be two red dots on our yeah, chest you just need to come for a ride with us right now yeah so I imagine that my hard drive will be wiped yeah. that's, why that, that's why that light went off that wasn't yeah. a technical error that was someone just from Disney down. pulling the plug yeah. well you know uh, I, I think you have chosen something worthy of your hate here I agree. On yeah. both, both cases. Purely from an artistic perspective. Absolutely. There's plenty of cinema geeks out there that will love this whole Bless them. setup. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. We all have our vices. Yeah. It's better yeah. than going out and killing at night or whatever yeah, they true. would do otherwise. <laughs> you just like superhero <laughs> posters. Good yeah, for you. Good for you. But yeah, yeah not it's, a fan. it's so so hectic. Yeah. I get quite stressed looking at it. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. And like this dusty bit around here as well. Like they've just landed. Yeah. Very blue, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Very blue. It's like shot in an aquarium. Yeah. Well, Poppy Jennings. I don't know if I, I said before, before I went off, I, I can't help calling you Poppy Jennings. Yeah. Your full name because it just rolls off the tongue. It's like Amadeus, Poppy Jennings, the same cadence. <laughs> yeah. It's a very good name. I'll let my mum know. She'll be appreciative. Outstanding. Well, it's been excellent talking to you mm-hmm. and um, you don't go away empty handed. <laughs> So you get your your I'm <laughs> I'm a four poster Ned <laughs> pennants. Brilliant. There you go, and of course you get your your four poster Ned mug. Oh, there you thank go. You. This is and hilarious. If you want some tap from my heat press and a mug, then you know what to do. Be poster adjacent. Get in contact with me, and I'll shove a camera in your face and and grill you about yeah. posters that you love and hate. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks this has been really me. good. If you're in Leeds, come down to Beamworks. It's rad. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Um, you'll be making a lot of really good artists mm-hmm. really happy by coming down. Yeah. Thank you very much, Poppy. It's been nice. At the end of the video, 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 the end Make a bad poster, 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 make a bad poster in the end. End of the video, the 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 end. Gonna make a bad poster, 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 the end. At the end. Wow.